Okay, well, a quick uh, kind of like a safety review on this device. This is the first alert. This is a model that looks this way. Here's this 2023, sold at the Home Depot, and I got this one here at Lowe's. So, uh, though the face looks a little different than some of the previous models, or maybe even future models, uh, this model, I'll put it right in the link in the description. We can kind of put this in a little bit closer, and I don't want to take a focus here on the window in the background because it's brighter. But um, uh, just as I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of talk out loud. Uh, I'm going to be doing some tests, but you'll see that it has reviews that are decent, and those are people that plug them in that don't use them. You're going to see some negative reviews of people that come in and their mother-in-law is in a house alone. The house reeks of uh, a natural gas, and this thing's not going. Now, thankfully, the mother-in-law is okay, but at, at the same time, uh, they're seeing that this is not working. There's several that are doing the tests that I'm going to, to perform right here. Um, so we have flame right there. And there's flame right there. Now it's bright. I'm going to turn it off. A lot of great ventilation in here. I've got fans. I've got a great big sliding glass door open here behind us. Um, I uh, have a mask on where I can still speak at it. Now it's interesting. I just turned itself off here. Maybe a safety precaution here. Okay. And by sparking it up now and then, it's just making sure that there's nothing here in the space that would uh, uh, combust. We're, we're also going to discuss the, um, this is for propane gas. It is for carbon monoxide. But what's really unique about this particular one is it is for um, uh, natural gas uh, as well. So you're listening. I know it's bright in here. There is no flame. Otherwise, it'd be melting the device. Okay. We're looking at a good battery in there. These actually come with a battery, which is really strange. This is going to want to keep, for safety purposes, turning off. I can smell a very, though I have a mask on, I can smell a very strong scent of this natural gas. I'm going to do one more time, and we're going to try to keep the video short and pithy. There's no flame. It's right there. This, I'm going to assume, is where the alarm would be coming out of. This over here is actually where the scent, you know, it's like a, a receiver on a phone where it would receive the scent. That's as much as I'm going to expose it to. So again, like the disclaimer in the beginning of the video, don't do what I do. But what we did earlier is we actually sealed this with some uh, natural gas trapped inside. And, you know, just let it 20 minutes, 30 minutes go by. And it did not, did not set the alarm off. So we were trying to simulate having it exposed for anywhere over a minute, two minutes, three minutes, 10, 20 minutes. And it didn't trip the alarm, unfortunately.